Okay, so it would be episode 13. Yeah. Alright, episode 13. Seven Days to Die collab with Cass. Welcome, Silencers of Park Steppers, to another wonderful episode of Seven Days to Die. Semi nomadic. There's been a lot done in the background from grinding. Let me go ahead and take you on a tour. I'm finally getting the framing for the house finished out. As you can see, I'm experimenting with the different shapes. Uh, Cass came back and helped us get the garage set up because I couldn't figure out for the world and me how to get that door to work. Honestly, I think it just needed power. That was what it was. And we have one of the, one, ooh, our SUV needs to be fixed. It's down to half. Uh, I'll grab a repair kit. One of the mods we got is the quantum elevator. Uh, uh, Cass, it looks like Cass is going for kind of a sci-fi look down in, uh, for the, uh, the, uh, Brain's not working. Think Dave? The bunker? The bunker style is sci fi. He's done a lot of upgrades. As you can see here, some steel. He unlocked our new chest. And. Oh, and by the way, not all of that is steel. Uh, I painted it. It's oh, all concrete, okay. but I just painted it. So it looks high tier and it looks expensive, but it's just concrete. All right, why don't you get, uh, finish the tour out, uh, walk us around over here, bub, so that you can explain to the rest of them what you've done, with the science and separate what we're doing here. Yeah, so you just came from the, uh, the main teleporter. It also has some crafting and drop chests in it, uh, for, like, wood, uh, uh, ingots and that kind of stuff. And then you come down here, to the right is our main storage area, where, or our main, um, entry, sort of our foyer. Uh, I'm per currently cleaning it out, but over here I intend to put a door to a hydroponic setup. Now normally in Seven Days to Die, um, you have to have a direct access to the sky in order to grow plants. However, we have one mod installed that's called GMO, Gen Genetically Modified Organisms, uh, that if you experiment with seeds, you can actually get ones that will grow underground by combining them with mushroom pruning. So we're going to be using that along with some uh, aesthetic grow lights to do a hydroponic setup down here. It's more realistic with the uh, snow. Anyway, um, as far as this room goes, this is actually going to be a walk-in freezer where we're going to be able to drop off uh, the food and drinks that we have and then proceeding out the other door of the walk-in freezer. Uh, this is going to be like a cafeteria style lunch room sort of thing. So this will be the counter. I'll put up some glass or something so that you can see out and, you know, just role play things, but I thought it was kind of cool. And, um, and then this hallway here is just going to lead to a mess hall. So like a little cafeteria slash rec room area behind this. Um, I just, I haven't dug it out yet. Um, this took a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> just, just a little bit. And then I, I, uh, was, I started bulk crafting concrete, so I've been upgrading everything to at least concrete. I accidentally upgraded one block to steel, but otherwise everything that I can is concrete. Nice, nice. It looks really good. And as for all of us Far, um, far Steppers channel, the Steppers, we prefer the roleplay side. So, especially when it comes to building. We love it when mm, forethought is put into it to create the role play setting because it's just awesome oh good i'm glad <laughs> All right. i was worried for a second that i was just being weird but i was like you know what if we're gonna have a bunker we might as well have a nice one <laughs> yeah right i don't want to stay in those uh five by ten little cave yeah i'm good <laughs> well, i snore too loud anyway so. <laughs> And this is still our opening here. There hasn't been a whole lot changed on it. No, the only thing I did add was a bulk of a... This is a reinforced bulk 
Blast door. That's reinforced blast door. It has like 20,000 hit points or something. Can anyone say Fallout? <laughs> uh, and then he Cass has ultimately changes for a little fallback. Would you like to explain to him what we did here? Yes. So uh, all of these blocks are upgraded to concrete. This is the way in and out of the underside, other than the teleporter over there. You have to crouch in order to get in. Um, and then it's got these scaffolding blocks up top, similar to what we did at the uh, horde base. Uh, scaffolding blocks keep the zombies from being able to run in. However, I did make it three wide so that both of us can be up in this fighting position all night. Um, if this is where we have to fall back to, hopefully we don't, but I wanted to be prepared. Then, um, in case these blocks get broken out, I have these uh, doors that we can put up to maintain uh, this position. We can keep these repaired as much as we uh, can repair the other blocks. But in case, uh, in case it gets kind of dodgy, we can also open this so that we can swing around, attack, and then duck back and uh, not get hit. But in the event that uh, that's just not realistic, uh, we can also flip these open to protect us from cop spit and vulture spit, the zombies that can shoot stuff. Um, so, you know, open it up, dodge or let it hit, and then bam, get the cop right in the face and then back again. It's well done. A lot of redundancy. Uh, yeah, um, I try to be as redundant as possible. And as far as my part, uh, I haven't uh, framed out the individual rooms yet. But as you can see, it's finally starting to take shape. We got two sets of stairs leading up this way. Uh, I have not decided whether we're going to put a third floor on this or not yet. That's to decide at a later date, if we continue. Uh, right here, I am going to put a big picture action window. Once we get everything like set up. And half of this will be my room, and half will be Cass's room. Sweet. And if we ever get anyone else to join us on, these, uh, on this semi-nomadic um, game, there is plenty of room to add uh, more rooms for other people. Yep. Tons of room. Above and below ground. Yes, sir. We're doing good. Gotcha. So, I can't wait until I'm able to get it painted and decorated. Then it's going to look a hundred times better. Because yeah, I'm actually upgrade it when it comes to it. That definitely be appreciated. Uh, I'm going to make it a log, uh, mostly a log uh, paint job, so it looks like a log cabin with a brick base. Sweet. At least that's the game plan. Good plan. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and plant some trees, cast. And I, uh, do we have enough wood to make some frames? Yes, we have plenty of wood. It's down by the carpentry table. Cool, cool. Uh, yeah, so try not to craft it all at once because there's quite a bit of wood. As you can see, there's uh, a lot less trees than there were last time. I noticed. Uh, so what's our game plan for today? Well, I think uh, having a second vehicle would be fantastic. Uh, we do have enough dukes to go out and get one. I'd like to probably uh, either do a van or, or maybe get the parts for your deuce and a half uh, truck. Cool. Because um, that would be a good idea. Uh, we can we can scavenge uh, or do quests if we need to, but it is day 13. The horde will be upon us tomorrow. Well, that was the next thing I was going to ask you. Should we go ahead and doctor up since we did get some on our shopping trip? We did get some turrets. Should we go ahead and doctor up the old, uh, the, our first horde base and really use idea. it? Yeah, yeah that would be great. I, um, I can go grab some materials, uh, some upgrade materials, and we could get it up to concrete, maybe. Yeah, that works. And then, yeah, go from there. i uh, got to remember where I put the damn concrete. Over the rainbow somewhere. Yeah, most likely. Uh, also, 
let's go ahead and do, uh, got, do you have, like, diamonds and stuff again? Yes, I should have a ton of those. Let me grab them really quick. Alright. So, that way we can go ahead and sell, and if they have a, another vehicle, we can just buy it off of them. Alright, let me grab all of the goodies that I got. We got gold, uh, silver, diamonds. That sh should be everything for that. And um, more treasures, gold. Eh, fuck it, I'll bring that all. Um, drop chest one. Oh, by the way, these are the, so the teleporter comes down to here. Uh, these drop chests are just for like when we're unloading the vehicle, we can just pop down, drop, and go back. So we can do all of the organizing in a semi-safe area. Um, until we get the garage completely, you know, patched up and whatnot. I Drop chest one, and only one is the one that has some stuff in it, so I'm going to make sure I grab some of that. I do like the aesthetic. It makes me, it reminds me of something you would see on, uh, oh, what was his name? Uh, he cast magic. <laughs> uh, Doctor Strange? No, he was in Marvel. Or DC one, DC Universe, Marvel Universe. He's uh, uh, he was in Legends of Tomorrow. Uh, crap. Keanu Reeves yeah. originally played him. Co uh, John Constantine. Yeah, John Constantine. This looks like something John Constantine would make. Oh, that's fair. All right, so I have in my inventory two hundred and sixty thousand five hundred and eighty-three dukes. A gold ingot, 716 diamonds, 379 <coughs> silver, 281 gold, and a thousand dollars. Nice, nice. I think that's everything. We should have more dukes than a thousand, though. Uh, sorry, 260,583, and then dollar bills, like actual. Oh, dollar, dollar, dollar. okay. Yeah, sorry. So, where are we uh, at? We upwards of a million. Uh, let me, I was going to grab a repair kit for the SUV. And you might want to grab some fuel too. We are at, let me see, fuel. I guess I have to get into it to see what it is. Uh, no, we should be good. It's three quarters of a tank. Okay, and I have one jerry can with me. Maybe I should grab a second one. I'll grab a second jerry can and see if I have a full one. Okay. Uh, I got it to dire wolf meat. Hey, I won't turn down some dire wolf. Uh, 38 me, meat from him. Let me grab some jars too. Last time I... I didn't get any water. Well, I got 74 jars, so. Oh, okay. So you're probably the one with all the jars. I'll just come up then. <laughs> uh, Alright, ready when you are. Alright, next one. Next project, we, side project, when we get the chance. Let's go ahead and make a road going down this side. Yep. I, uh, I was going to start that, but I got sidetracked. <laughs> Perfectly understandable, bub. But I should only have to get the road down to, like, here, right? Yeah, right here where it's flat. Okay. If I if, if that's as far as I need to go, then I can, could, can definitely do that myself. Eventually, though, I would like to have a full road going, uh, meeting up with these ones, but... That's for a late oh, day, yeah. and even we can do that even when the series is done. We can work on that. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Cause this is one of those maps that I want to save and work on, even if when we stop playing on it. Cause there's just so much to do on it. Yeah, All right, yeah. let me see. Our nearest trader is Rack. 
All right. Have I said how much I hate Rack yet? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hate him too. One thing I'd love to see if the fun pinch would do would be get rid of Trader Rack, change him out for another uh, Trader. Because I, I have to say, he is, uh, if you take a poll, you probably find he is the most hated, uh, one of the most hated character in any game. Yeah, probably. No shit, Sherlock. You're drone. Yeah, she's always got a bad feeling. Uh... Oh, like and I did point out the only way to actually shut the talking off is by actually uh, going in and changing the code or getting a mod port. Ah, oh, that sucks. Alright, let's see. I'll sell you goods. We'll sell all this shit to him. Alright. So, selling the cash for 2309, hey. selling all the gold for 18,000, selling all the silver for 18,000, and selling all the diamonds for 354,420. Wow. Uh, that leaves us with 655,443 dukes. Almost enough to get almost any vehicle, except the dukes and a half. Yeah, except, uh, um, <laughs> they're, uh, he doesn't sell any vehicles, or he's not selling any vehicles right now. This one has an ambulance. Ooh, an ambulance, really? Yep. Selling for 171000 You're funny. Well, I could definitely use an ambulance. Obviously, we'll have to take it back and refuel it, but... Uh, he has an ambulance for you. Whatever you like. Okay, let me see if Joe has anything else for me. Okay. These are coming. Yeah, I, I, I hear them. Uh-huh. See another SUV. And, uh, for Rex. Yeah. Pardon me. You're all good. And that looks like, yeah, just an SUV. You want to go to a different one? Well, um, what kind of vehicle would you like? Do you want to get, like, a military vehicle? Or do you want to try and find a deuce and a half and see if we can fix it up? Uh... Ratchet, so we could pull apart another vehicle, a couple of vehicles if we needed to. We would need the repair kit, mechan mechanical repair kit for those, so... Damn it, I left that at home. We have the truck one, I crafted three of each. Master, we are not alone. Uh, we can always go back and grab it, and if we see a truck we like on the... Uh, If we find a truck we like, we can uh, grab it while we're around our shop, uh, checking around. Uh, yeah. It is 23.46. Yes. This is going to be a nighttime episode, I guess. Yes, we ain't done one of those yet. No, we haven't.
animals, you know, all that good stuff. Tis, tis. Don't think we could repair that even if we wanted to. No, I just tried. See if he has some honey or something. I'll check this guy. And let me know, I have all the money, so I will give you everything. Ooh, here's a legendary sledgehammer. Nice. It's called Hector's Wrath. Too bad we don't have uh, almost two million. How much do we need? One million. One million seven hundred and ten thousand. For what? Mighty dump truck. <laughs> oh, that's right. Uh, let's see what else we got there. Do we need advanced repair kits? Because there's six from under me. Um, yeah, we could get some advanced repair kits. <laughs> and he does have a honey, but I don't think I have any money. Let me sell some stuff real fast. Here, just take the money from me. Take the money, man. Take it. I'll slap you in the face with it. Just tell me when you're ready to pick it up. Do, do, do. Alright, buying honey now. Alright, uh, dynamite and gold, uh, golden, uh, golden rod seed, shotgun messiah, volume four, SUV. Go ahead. If you need it. Nope, don't need it. Okay. Um, there's a full gasoline can in there. Ooh, I'll, I'll snag that one. And I can make sure that whatever vehicle we end up with gets refueled. Queen B. Yeah, you could grab that. I'll grab whatever you want. Um. Uh, well, uh, hey, he got a chicken for sale. <laughs> Uh, one. Go ahead and, uh, I'll buy it. Uh, yeah, it's 1100. <laughs> okay. Alright, but, yeah, that's all he has on for me. Okay. SUV. Yep. His, uh, secret stash. Yep, that's where I found the mining truck. Okay. So. There's the SUV. Military 4x4. Grab that, grab that, grab that. Is what this guy has for me. Yes, he had that for me too. Uh, yeah, your secret see your secret stash is different than mine. Yep. Mine doesn't have the truck in it. Right, you want to do with you. Come back and tell your friends. But I did grab the bee and the chicken and the gasoline. Alright. So we continue on? Yes, indeed. Let me eat that honey real fast. Yes, please. Oh, uh, let's see. Jen is near us. Yes, Jen is the closest. I don't know if she'll have any vehicles, but we can always check. Usually, the time I've seen here with vehicles, it's been like the drylcopter and the planes and stuff. into a plane. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, or at least like a pair of gyros, then we could really travel. I know they don't have a great carry capacity, but we could also look into like a, a helicopter or something. Yeah, that would be cool. Sorry, I had to mute the mic there for a second. I had a coughing fit. That's all good. 
<laughs> this is yeah, day 14. I, yeah, day 14 at 5.30 in the morning. And, yeah. It's, yeah, I think we'll just uh, extend the, on our base. Okay. The one you made for the first horde. Honestly, I don't know if we need to extend much, but at least one of the turrets or two would be Ideal. a good idea. Are you? Jesus. I didn't even hear you run past me. <laughs> I was holding the door for you and everything. You don't look so good. Let's see. Does he have any vehicles? Well, Jen doesn't even have a vehicle. God damn. Are you still lacerated? Yes, sir. Hour and 47 minutes. Okay, then I will sew you up here in a moment. God damn, she doesn't have anything. Uh, he has an old van. Thank you so much. For a hundred and... Go ahead. I, I don't want one of the creeper vans. <laughs> All right. It has That's a cargo the, limit of 2,500. Yes, the ambulance has a cargo limit of 3,000. Oh, nice. Okay. I just sewed you up. You're no longer last week. Thank you, thank you. And I'll go see if Jen has anything special for me. And you can check with that, duder. Okay. Yeah, I see your inventory, good sir. Uh, nothing there. Seriously, what the fuck is wrong with my secret stash? I don't have any of the secret stash you do. I don't know. Maybe from how you got, uh, from your specs. Maybe. I mean, I've got the, like, daring adventure and and a lot of selling points, but I didn't think that would make that big of a difference. Uh, there's uh, a sedan and a go-kart. I don't think we need another sedan, and I certainly don't want to ride around in a go-kart. <laughs> uh, do... Can I get, uh, well, I don't need that. We can already build drone cargoes, right? Yes, and I already crafted you one for your drone. Hey, cool, cool. Alright, where to next? Which button are you hitting for that? X. Okay. Alright, let's see your map. Uh, okay, we've been Jen. Well, here's a. Let me go here. That's, we got what we need for that, so. It's only just under 300, uh, just over 300 from us. It's a marker you made earlier. A marker I made earlier? Yeah, like way earlier when we, when we were exploring. Deuce and a half. That's right. That's right. And if we hadn't... Yeah, there it is. Okay. Let's see what it needs for repair. Okay, so I have the wrench. The truck maintenance book is also in my inventory. We need a battery... Three truck wheels, a hundred plated steel, twenty springs, uh, twenty-four mechanical parts, ten glass sheets, ten lights, twenty-five wire, nine duct tape, and ten oil. And we have all that at the base. Yes, we should have everything at the base. I mean, that gave me the battery, so... And I guess we didn't need the truck engine. We put the battery. Ooh, that's an A-class battery too. Nice. All right, where to from here? Uh, Check uh, the next traders. Since we're this far away already. Yeah, hold that thought. I'm double checking this truck. Yeah, I do have that. Okay. Uh, the next trader closest to us would be Bill, right next to the uh, Horde base. Yep. 
that will give us some time to also stop and look at the Horde base, see what we want to do with it. Yeah. It's 7 a.m., so we're going to be tight on time to get back to it, but... Nah, we got it. All right. <laughs>
you go. You're good. I was gonna say, don't go crashing through the top of the house. Huh? Gotcha. Just because you got a lot more stuff to sell? No, I want to see if we can find that helicopter. Cool, cool. Or the plane. That'd be awesome. Yeah. You said it's a C-130, right? I believe so. Yeah, I do believe it's uh, the military uh, cargo plane. Sweet. Okay, so. <laughs> Next, we got plenty of food. Forty-eight meat for that, but we have a total of three hundred and sixty-five raw meat in the uh, freezer. The ice machine. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> we don't have enough eggs, though. No, we don't. <laughs> Sorry about that. We only had like six more eggs, um, and I'm about to uh, make three more uh, bacon and eggs, so that takes us out of that. Um, I, I think if we can get one more chicken, we can make the chicken coop. Cool, cool. We'll have to keep an eye open for it. Uh, we want our turrets. Yes, and I was actually just looking for them. I, I don't see them. Oh, well, gotta be here somewhere. But where? They technically, don't have to. They could have just straight up glitched out, but. I hope it didn't. Same, but it wouldn't be the first time. That's true. Got the shotgun shells. Found them. Bottom box by the cardboard boxes. Got it. Wouldn't have thought the one there. Um, we want. We're gonna want four, right? Uh, for the turrets, that's up to you. I'm not quite sure. I know your vision. Uh, two on the top facing backwards to hit the scarecrows, and then two on either side. Uh, the little walk area you made. The little pole they have to climb in. Yeah. Um, I will grab a generator. But... 
uh, did you grab the stuff we needed for to repair the uh, douche and a half? Yes, I should have everything. Okay. Because if we left the battery in the car, then yes, I have everything. I'm just grabbing my... And we wanted to use our bikes, right, you said? Uh, when we go get the truck, yeah. But we can use the SUV for now. Alright. Good, the 1600 already. Good night. We are going to be hard pressed to whoop shit to get that done, but uh, and I still need, I need, I need concrete. Bricks. No bricks. Um, All right, who's barking up the wrong tree? have the materials to upgrade, but I can bring the materials to repair at least. Yep, sorry. Zombie killing. Got it. You got really quiet all of a sudden. I apologize. I'm zombie killing. No, you're totally fine. Um, yeah, we're going to be hard pressed to, um, to do anything other than repair our other base. We'll get it, though. We just don't have uh, the materials for it. I can't find the generators to save my damn life. I got one. Okay, did you get an engine for it? I did one of the compact engines. Okay, and I have two and a half things of fuel. Do you have wires and a wire tool? I did not. Those should be in the chest. I heard them beating on the my uh, on our house, so I had to come up and get them before they broke stuff. No, that's totally fine. And you've got the turrets. <coughs> I do. Do you have ammo for them? Yep, I got a thousand shotgun ammo. Oh, you got the shotgun turrets. Okay. Yeah, I figured that'd be the easiest one. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Hell, even if we only had one of those down in the middle of the base, it should be fine. Since we need a bad kit to repair. An advanced one? Yeah, they repair the Jeep. Okay, I, or not, I, I, SUV. <laughs> I just came across one of those. Um, now I just gotta find it again. Um. All right, I got my carry way up to two hundred and fifteen. Well, while we're here, I might as well go repair my armor. That would probably be good. We should... Where is our maintenance table? We had the maintenance 
chemistry, okay. ballistic. Here, three, right? Yeah. Cool, cool, thank you. No Yeah, sorry about getting super quiet like that. No, you're totally fine. It is 1740. Yeah, we're going to have a close call. Very. We're going to have to... Uh... Well, those are normal repair kits. We're going to have to... Potentially just wing it with what we had last time. Which is always, you know, fun. fun. And entertaining for the viewers. Yeah, that's the other thing I was thinking. Okay, got that. I don't know, maybe I'll stick with the long rifle and just switch up my other one from SMG. Yeah, good, good idea. Fix my gun that you gave me. Do we seriously have no glue? Uh, I think that's in a box down here. Hold up, I'll grab it. Uh, if it's broadcasting. Yeah, but it doesn't broadcast that far. Oh, oh, yeah, that's right. Limited broadcast range. Yeah, which is why I've started moving stations and stuff closer to the storage. Alright, glue should be broadcasting. Yep, there it is. Wonderful. We haven't come across more grenades. Right? I've had one playthrough, I had nothing but grenades. Uh, not saying we need research data. Uh, we might be out of that. Yeah, I'm almost positive we're out of that. No worries. It'll always be done at a later date. We want, might want to get going here. I need to grab uh, ammo. Yeah, I was just double checking. One last time. Grab some I am going to grab a couple of first aid kits, okay. just in case. That's a good plan. This Horde Knight's going to be significantly harder than the last one. Yeah, we're significantly higher in stage two, so... Yeah. Alright, I'm ready when you are. I'm just looking for some ammo right past. Which kind of ammo? Uh, the ones for my, uh, machine gun you gave me. Uh, I have a shit ton of that. I'll give it to you. Alright. Did you grab concrete mix? Uh, we didn't have any. I must have used it all. Well, there's two there still. 
Not like that's yeah. enough for anything. <laughs> no, it takes five to upgrade each block, but I did bring some other blocks that I can use to upgrade. Did you grab a wiring tool? Yep, and I have some wire too. All right, let's head. I don't think we're going to have time for it, but we'll do what we can. Yeah. Should we uh, call this episode here and meet everybody back at the Horde base? Yeah, it sounds like a plan. All right. Then uh, thank you very much, Steppers and Silencers, for joining us today. Because uh, we're running short on time and long on recording. Uh, we will see you guys in the next episode at the Horde base for the Day 14 Horde. Thank you very much for watching and liking, and we'll see you in the next one. Yes, uh, as I like said, thank you, Silencers and Steppers. Uh, if you like what you see, please hit the record. If you have any suggestions, hit comment. And please, uh, go check out Cass's channel at Control Alt Silence. Uh, you'll enjoy, if you enjoy this content, you'll definitely enjoy his. Talk to you then.